Uh, Kyle is the radio host of The Insiders with James Ham from 10 to 12 on ESPN 1320 uh, up in Sacramento. But he's also an A's fan, so I figured he'd be yeah. the perfect guy to talk to about this. Uh, Kyle, thanks a lot. And first of all, just yeah. pro professionally, how weird of a day was today? I know you were on the air for a couple of hours and just knowing they're coming to your market, but they're also leaving <laughs> Oakland, the, the team, the, the city where you've watched them your entire life. You know? Yeah, man. Super strange vibe today. Um, because there are people in, in Sacramento who don't have any, like, they don't, they, they might be, you know, passively a Giants fan or passively an A's fan, but they're not caught up in any of this relocation stuff. So they, they hear, wow, major league baseball is coming to Sacramento for three to four years. That's awesome. Super excited. And I understand that. Um, and, and professionally, I think it's probably better for me. Like, um, I guess, um, yeah, I mean, two then, big league teams in the market. I mean, that's pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Like I mean, people yeah. today were like, are you going to cover them? Like, yeah, yeah I have to, yeah. like, it's my job. Yeah. But then there's the personal aspect of it yeah. where I didn't, I don't know where, where you guys landed on this, but for, for me, the whole leaving Oakland thing was, um, I thought there was going to be more of a runway where, um, cause my, my plan this year was to go to the Coliseum for the last time and, and do what I could do to not support, uh, the John Fisher ownership group. But in the back of my mind, there was always this hope, right. Or this idea that, Hey, as long as they're here, as long as they're in Oakland, then, then there's that chance. Like there's just something, some, something falls through in Vegas and, and Fisher has to sell or whatever, whatever it winds up being like, there was that, that chance and that hope. And, with the announcement this morning that they're moving to Sacramento, that just feels gone now. It, it, at least that's that's how it feels to me. And um, I, I'm not gonna like go to games in Sacramento at least, it, it, unless my job requires me to. Uh, but I'm not gonna go as a fan um, because I wasn't gonna go back to the Coliseum as a fan after this year, anyways. But at the same time, there's like a finality that came with it. Yeah. That was uh that was uh pretty sobering. Um, so it's uh. It sucks <laughs> for, for 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 me personally and for for all my friends who have uh, put in so much effort into um you know kind of pushing back against this and trying to fight against it um that uh, that sucks yeah I think that's the biggest thing I just feel awful for Oakland A's fans I mean there's so much history here I think this is year 57 and mm -hmm. uh and it's it's just like the millions of people who care or the hundreds of thousands of people who care about this. Uh, it's like it doesn't matter for me. It's just like these two buddies making this this deal, these billionaires, and that's that's what it is. And we we're powerless to stop it, you know. So yeah. How yeah. how what did you think of the uh, the press conference today and kind of how it went down? And they only gave about two hours notice. So a lot of Bay Area media couldn't even get up there. What what did you think about today and the the press conference up there? I mean, like I think Kyle put it best, right? And, and then Alex, you said the best too, which is just like, you know, it just seems like these two sort of billionaires just schemed together to do, to do this. You know, it. You know, they're they're, they're buddies. Uh, you know, we could talk about we could talk about how John Fisher seems to have made a slight fool of himself again by saying, "Oh, c come on out and see see these great players like Aaron Judge." Yeah, and other people that I don't employ, right? Like, oh wow, I, you know, I really, I'm really excited for you guys to watch, uh, you know, watch people, you know, teams that pay money just tee off on 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 my team. But you know, it's just like, of course he was going to do that. Of course he was going to do that. Of course he was like not going to remember any of his own players' names. Um, whatever. Uh, it's 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 very frustrating to. I think what's what's like m most frustrating to me here is is that the the hope the hope here was that like okay you know maybe we'll be able to get a an expansion team out of this um, you know maybe of, of course Vegas might fall through and Vegas still might fall through fall through and I guess then Sacramento would have pole position to get that that team but like also you know. If if Vegas falls through, Sacramento doesn't have a stadium built yet. You know, the, I think it's just as likely as some completely rich douchebag in uh, Oakland <laughs> builds a stadium. But you know, so I I it's not like it's not completely over. Um, but 
what is, what is really frustrating was from that press conference afterwards, I was just watching uh, Vivek. Uh, I, we, I practiced saying his last name before the started, but now I don't. Rana, Rana oh, Dive. So, yeah. Rana yeah. Dive. So Vivek Rana Dive's um, comments after the press conference. And he said, I've, I've been talking to Rob Manfred a lot. And, you know, Rob says they want to have another team on the West Coast and they'd love for it to be in California. So, you know, by doing by doing them a solid, I think Sacramento's going to have the inside, you know, that pole position to get the expansion team. And, you know, Oakland and Sacramento are about the same size. You know, the metro areas are about the same size. If you only cop the sort of the East Bay, um, mm-hmm. And, you know, they're, they're both sort of similar sports TV markets, but, you know, you could imagine if you're baseball, okay, these people in the East Bay, they'll eventually start to become Giants fans. And then we'll have this other brand new city out here in Sacramento. Sacramento's growing a lot more than places in the Bay Area, partly because they're building a lot more housing. But um, I just, what's so frustrating is like, why didn't, why, why didn't Rob Manfred call Shang Tao and tell her the same thing? You know, from what I've been hearing about the mayor's office is that they've desperately been trying to contact Major League Baseball. They've been working with the governor to try and contact Major League Baseball. And they literally have, you know, they've been having a a really hard time doing that. Uh, And that, you know, this sort of this one year, this one year thing, I think I don't really know. But like my understanding is the one year thing was just sort of an invention by Oakland trying to think like, what would major league baseball agree to? We can't even get them on the phone, but here's Vivek saying, Oh, I'm talking to Rob Manfred all the time, you know, Hmm. and it's gotta be this just old, you know, this old billionaires, this billionaires club, uh, you know, they told, I I think, I think it's kind of well known that Joe Lacob doesn't talk about the A's anymore because I'm sure that Rob Manfred said, stop talking about the A's, you know, (laughs) stop talking about the A's and you'll never be able to buy them. But here we got we got this other guy, you know, talking about oh I can't wait to buy an expansion team, you know, blah blah blah. Like it's just it's just it just feels like uh, it just fucking sucks, man. It's frustrating. <laughs> it, feels, yeah. it feels and you know yeah. whatever. I you know I I feel like you know we could we could talk about how the mayor got played, uh, but 